Welcome back. This video is to go through how to change the material type in Fusion 360, as well as how to create your own material and how to change the color of an object. So we'll start with changing the material type. It's honestly really easy. You have to have a completed component. I'm using our pen grip just as an example. In your browser, go to your component and right click, and then you're going to select physical material. A box will pop up. There we go. And this has a library of materials available to you. So if you know what type of material you need and you think it's going to be in one of these folders, then take a look through and try to find it. For example, I would say that this is probably made out of silicone. So I'm going to go to plastic. We're going to scroll down rubber silicone. There we go. And just because of how it's set, it also changed the color, but we can change it to whatever color we want and we will do that in a minute. We also have the ability to create our own material. So if the material that I want isn't listed there, let's say that I'm making something out of PLA. PLA is not an option that we have. Then we can create that ourselves. In order to do that, we're going to take an existing material and we are going to right click on it and click duplicate. What that does is it creates a second copy of it. You see we have rubber silicone and then we have rubber silicone one. That copy, we're now going to right click on that and hit edit. And we're going to just change all of the details here. We're going to change the name to PLA. I don't have the density on me, but you would know your density and you would enter it there. In the advanced settings, we can change some more details about it. The description, obviously we want to change. Uh, let's see, description. I'm just going to put PLA for now, but really probably what you would put is uh, the full name, which I can't right now recall off the top of my head what PLA is short for, but you would look it up and put it there. The type is plastic. If we have any comments, keywords, if we know anything about manufacturer, model cost, URL, etc., you can put it all there. Under appearance, this is where we can change the default color of our material. So I can set it so that my material, my PLA, whenever I use it, would be any color option that they have here. And they have all sorts. You can see that. We've got anything from golden apricot to fiesta, peaches and cream. There's all sorts of options. Most of the time, if you are changing the color of the material, you, or if you're changing them, if you're making your own material, you know what color you want it to be, and you'll find the closest you can to that. PLA comes in all sorts of colors, so I'm just going to pick a nice green. And now anytime I use that PLA, it'll show up as that green color. I could also change reflectance, roughness, however I want. You could change any other information here, although at the level that we are doing this, we're not really going to do that. And then on the physical tab, we can add some of those material properties that we've been learning about. We can change the thermal conductivity. We can change the specific heat, the thermal expansion coefficient. Under mechanical, we've got Young's modulus. We've got density. And these other ones are material properties that we just haven't gone over. So you could change the information in each of these boxes so that it's accurate to the material that you are now creating. Then if we click OK, we now have PLA as an option here. And you can create favorites as well if you know that you're going to use that material a lot. You can click Add to Favorites, and that will be in your favorites available for you whenever you need to change the material. The last thing we are going to go through 
is we are, I'm going to show you how to change the color because we don't have any pens that are a white grip. So let's go ahead and change that. We're going to right click on our component again in our browser. We're going to go to appearance. And then just like we had a library of materials, we have a library of colors. And they're all, because this is not just color, this is appearance, there are different types of colors. We have mirror if you need something reflective, if you want it to look like a type of metal. We have that. If I'm just looking to change a color, I will usually go look in paint and then powder coat, either rough or smooth, because that will usually get me the look that I'm going for. So let's say that I want this to be blue. Click and drag that onto there. Which Let's see. Sometimes you might need to download it. And there we go. It changes the color. Easy peasy. Notice you can apply it to bodies slash components, which would change the entire object, or you can apply it to just faces, which I can do, and it will then only change. There we go. The face that I put it on. So if you're making something that's going to be multicolored, you'll want to make sure you have the right apply to selected. And there we go. That's how we can change material type and color.